Hello everyone, my name is Lance or Lance CS and today I will be teaching you how to use the tell draw command inside of Minecraft. So if you don't know what the tell draw command is, you should since you clicked on this video. It's basically just a command that allows you to uh, say things in chat um, in color and without, for example, if I say something in chat right now, you will see that it has my name in front of it, and we don't want that. This is usually used for maybe possibly doing troll. This is used for possibly doing trolls, like making your friends think someone joined the game, or um, in command in like adventure maps and stuff when you have uh, NPCs talking. This is a really good way to use uh, utilize this command. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is give yourself a command block, and if you don't know how to do that, you're just gonna type slash give then your username minecraft colon command underscore block and then however many you want i just want one obviously since we're just doing a tutorial here and it will give you the desired command block so obviously what you're going to want to do is place this down and quick before we start i'm just going to show you um a lot of you are probably familiar with the slash say command and you're probably wondering well why don't you use slash say it's a lot simpler you just type slash say and then whatever message you want because the reason is the tell rock command is better there uh, in this way because when you use slash say, if you just use it in chat, it'll still show your username. And even if you use it in a command block, um, and you know get something to power it with, it will have this weird at symbol bef uh, behind it showing that it was using a command block, and it has no color. There's no way to do color. So the tell rock command, you can use color, make it uh, italicized bold, underlined, all sorts of stuff, and you don't have this little at symbol behind it. It's really useful, it just looks a lot better in general. So, I'm going to show you how to use this today. So, you're going to right-click your command block. Let's get rid of this. And simply type slash tell raw. And then, it's going to bring you this. You don't know what these are. These are basically all the different ways to target players. So, for example, if I typed in, used at A, it would show this message to everybody at, uh, at P is the nearest player, at R is a random player, or you can choose a specific person by typing in the username. Um, you don't need to worry about at S and at E, but I'm just going to make everyone so they can see it. And then you're gonna do a space and type in a curly bracket and a quotation mark symbol. Then you're gonna type in text, quota uh, quotation mark symbol, and colon and one more quotation mark symbol. So now you're going to type in what you want to say. So if I, for example, I'm just going to say, hello there, this is a command. Then you're going to do another quotation mark symbol. So this, you should have something that looks about like this so far, along with what you want to say. Then type a comma, quotation mark symbol. And now you add the color. So you're going to type in color here, quotation mark symbol, colon, and another quotation mark symbol. So I'm just going to make this be Let's go with green and then do another quotation mark symbol and a close uh, another curly bracket to close the command. So if you did everything right, this should turn yellow here. So then you're gonna click done and use any sort of form of desired power to uh, power up your command block. And there you go. It now says in chat, hello, this is a command without the little symbol and it's in color. So this is also a very useful for adventure maps. For example, if you want to have an NPC talking, um, I, you could go in here and change the text to be something like, I don't know, um, let's have the, I don't know, professor, I probably didn't throw let's just have the doctor say something. So you can have doctor show who's talking, I can't spell, and let's have the doctor say, I don't know, <laughs> open wide, young man, I don't know why, but I decided to say that. Let's say you want to have him say that, and then let's have him say it in yellow place it down and there you go and you can also use this very well if you get repeaters here and your desired um source of power it's on a little bit strange and hook something up and then have some repeaters leading to another command block with you know some op uh, some offset obviously and then have the same command but let's say we want to have the doctor talking again uh, no, let's say we want to have you talking. Let's say this is like a first person map or something. And let's just say you... Okay, doctor. I don't know why. 
but now if let's say there's npcs here and you step on this it'll say it go through and say the next thing so this is a really easy way to make conversations between npcs um in venture maps and whatnot but yeah that is pretty much how to use the tell rock command very simple very easy to do once you get the hang of it and i'm not going to be going over how to use like italicized stuff and underline it right now because that would just take a bit more time plus um i'm not even 100 percent sure if i remember how i'd have to look at some stuff to quite get drop my brain but if you would like to see a tutorial on how to do more of the Telerock command, let me know in the comment section below. This was just a very simple, quick tutorial on the basics of this command. If you did enjoy, though, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. And apart from that, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.